Going back in there? Good. Nope. Oh. I can hear him working the lock. How fancy. What? What's that? What's moving? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Shit, 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 shit. Really? 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 Um. Bye? Hi! Might want to reload. Wasn't expecting that. Ah, that's why he saw me. Shit, shit, shit! That's not what I meant to do! <laughs> Sorry about that, I wasn't expecting to go sliding down the banister. There we go, much better. Hi, how you doing? Actually, you know what? We're gonna go back in there, okay? So don't close it. There you go. Don't worry. He's not gonna bother you anymore. Yeah, hitting it really works, man. Okay, fine. There. Put you on that way. Looks like they haven't got to picking these locks because he's working on that door. And there's nothing in here anyway. I found a bell and a feather. The hell? What a weird looking staff. I gotta remember, I still need a tool for downstairs. You stay right there. Don't go flying down banisters. I really wonder what's the matter with the sire. Not that he didn't work long nights locked in before, but th there was never that stink up and down all the stairs. It's it's like something rotten was burning. A and yesterday I brought his dinner, and he again didn't say thank you, my dear, like he always does. Didn't even see it. it was just staring straight in the air. If only Catherine weren't so weighed down by this, the, the poor thing. I'd go in her chamber to wash and dress her, and sometimes she'd begin to sob and weep. She needs a husband. He got possessed. Probably. Most likely. Hey. I put this out, and he lit it anyway. Much better. Then why did you relight it if it's not your job? Get back. Nobody's here. Whoosh it. Come on out now. Let's get this over with. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting you. Just saying. Did you, are you the one who relit it? I, I kind of accused your friend over there, but it must have been you. Just stay over there. Come on out now. Let's get this over with. I want to try to take him out, but most of the time it don't work. Guess I'm gonna have to try. Okay, cause... I mean it. Show yourself. I'm right here. How you doing? Ow! Eh, that didn't work. Hi. -ya. Hi. Hi. Hi ya Turn around. There you go. That didn't work at all. Really? Fine, be that way. Let's do it properly this time. Shall we? Turn around, buddy. There we go. Nobody. Don't worry about it. Now that I know you're in here, I'm not gonna freaking surprise myself. Where are you at? 
and close it so he can't see me when I go in there and knock him out. You gonna stay there, right? You hurry up and come over here. All right, let's look at you. He's gonna put it, put it back on. Where is he? Shit. <coughs> I'm still worried that he's gonna turn back on. Where is this guy? Seriously, dude. You asshole. What was that? Okay, at least I can hear him when he starts to light it. <sighs> I'm not gonna be able to get him before he relights it, so I'm gonna have to wait till he starts walking back. Come on, walk. Perfect. Alright, you dog, the sooner I kill you, the sooner Excuse me? That made no sense. There we go. Much better. Put you over here and put this damn light out. There we go. Okay, so all I have is this room over here and then I can focus on the lock. There you are. You remember what I was saying about that room? Ah, damn it. Nope, we've already covered this. There we go. Now let's save it there so we don't have to do that again. There, much better. He's all the way over there now. Damn it. Damn it. There, done. You got anything on you? No, because you're a jerk. Is there anything even in here? everywhere. It's mostly it's the stuff they missed. Nope, nothing. Damn. Yeah, at least I don't have him walking around. Got another lantern. Not that that helps at all. Ain't a busty bust. Well, okay. Let's close that up and uh, see what we can do here. Okay, now we're at an impasse, because I either need a way to get into here... I, that's not the button I meant to press. Or I need a tool of some sort. Uh, can I get through? Ah, there we go. Handsaw. Alright, let's go back down. Leave that for later. Go out back and see if we can get into the basement, which will be nice and not haunted at all. Here we go. Hello? Zombies. Thank you for the music. Oops. Oh, it's dust modes. Ah, very nice. 
good rug? No. It's also too big to stuff in my pants. Putting these out in case something happens or somebody comes down here. Be easier for me to hide. Uh, again, there's not much down here. Hmm. All right, what is this? All suspicious like. The 11th of March. By the heavens, my dear wife, Catherine, her nerves have brought her close to collapse. Now she can barely turn her head as she lies in bed, too weak almost to speak. How much I had hoped that our seclusion away from the stressing hustle of modern society would allow her nerves to repose and perhaps even be cured, but now... She's as weak as I have ever seen her before. I have sent for Dr. Gregory with all urgency. At the very least, I can find comfort in that he knows her well. It doesn't sound like his wife is doing too well. And then he started doing something down here, locked himself away, and started becoming more and more distant. Probably trying to find a way to help her. Hello? creepy how like all of a sudden there's nobody nobody at all hmm so I wonder if the master of the house is still upstairs where they're trying to unlock the door and will I find a key down here or maybe my death or maybe both if I'm really lucky. And what's behind the door? Well, this doesn't look good at all. That is a human leg. That is a human leg. Get out of my way. Get the thing with the thing. There we go. And there's stuff all over the place. That is a human thigh bone. That does not go in the wine rack. At least that I know of. He was, somebody was sleeping down here. No, that's just a scroll. That's just a scroll. That is more than a scroll. Mysterious words. Seek my path. Seek it out, and you shall find your gold. More gold than any other of those amongst whom you tread. Beware, for the end of the trail is not just the end of that alone. Okay. I, I don't want gold if I have to actually pay for it. You're just saying. That's scroll. 21st of March. Catherine is recovering visibly. I cannot have enough thanks for the Dr. Gregory, though over dinner he warned that she may still be bedbound for a long time to come. I began to wonder, having watched the doctor closely, if water can be imprinted with a memory, as he says, and this memory can be used to restore one's former health. Could not that same water be distilled from a body, replete with its memory? The young fellow on board the icebreaker and his treasure hoard. Was he speaking the truth? So his wife got better. Crap. And he wanted more. Those weren't there before. Alright, uh, let's make sure that there's nothing else in here because... I have nothing to show for this except for information. I want to make sure there's not a key or something. I didn't pick up a key, right? No, just more readables. Wait, yeah, just two keys still. <sighs> nothing? Sorry if this is a waste of time. I just want to make sure so I don't go back up and waste even more time. I don't see anything. Uh, 
I didn't see those before. Well, it's leading up, so let's go up, I guess. <laughs> Hi, guys. How you doing? Right, have fun on your smoke break. Don't say I never did nothing for you. I didn't notice that painting before. Not that it matters. Just didn't notice it. That? Well, it's not me, obviously. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's going... What? Um, why would it go in here? What the hell? Okay. There's various stuff hidden in the house, perhaps? I would have expected it to open the other door. Is this... Are the footsteps completing by me stepping on them? Or is it just timed? Ooh. I missed that. I don't think that's where... Uh, excuse me? Okay. Uh, what now? I was not expecting this at all! That's one way to get into the room. Hello? Some very bent nails. Some very large bent nails. And a hookah pipe. Nothing wrong with that. March 30th. Oh, he found out a way to do it. His name is John... Joan Sean. Interred at Eastfield Abbey after dying of natural causes. This I read on the inside of his travel accounts cover. Written in by another hand, post-mortem. I must admit I hadn't noticed the inscription before. I've contacted the Abbey and arranged for his exhumation so that he could be brought here, claiming that I discovered that he is in fact a member of my family and should thus be buried on this estate. This is also what I will say here at home. My logbook makes me increasingly uncomfortable. I will have to keep it safely locked when I'm not writing in front in, for, in it from now. Unfathomable what might come to pass if it were found, especially after I write my next entries. April 11th. The body has arrived, but in what fashion? Early in the morning, as I entered my study, I found the coffin there before me. It is as if the men had arrived at night, entered through the open door, quietly deposited the coffin, and left without saying a word. I hesitate, but now that I see the sequence of events written down, I can't begin to believe it. April 21st. By Jove! How the fluids swirl and shine in this file, as if it were moving entirely of its own accord. It is like nothing I have seen. When I gaze into the orange fluid, it could look like images like images form, but they pass too quickly to focus. Images, no doubt, of this man's life. It would be madness, truly, to drink such a sub substance, not least for my inclusion of sulfonic acid, to name but one regant uh, of that sort. No, it would seem a mere touch is enough. I had only grazed the orange-hued glass with my fingers while I was concocting the brew, and already my consciousness began to wane. I will wait for a suitable moment. Okay. 
I mean, that's understandable. Oh, there's the file right there. Perfect place for a gargoyle. What the hell? I can't. Okay. Another pipe. Yeah, he definitely locked his, himself in here. I'll just scroll. I guess, uh, and another pipe. I guess I just touched the liquid. Or at least the file. Well, that's not good. Um... Okay, normal, completely normal. I'm in one of his memories? This wasn't a good idea. Escape the grasp of the old man's file. Focus on getting out in one piece, but 1150 loot wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Do not kill whoever you may find. The risk is too great. Yeah, I, oops, I, I, I don't wanna even interact with anybody that I might find. So I'm in the memory, or is this something else? Hello? Uncle, can I come in? What? Ha! Found oh, you! Sorry! Ah. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go through that again. Uh, I wanna look in the other, uh... Before I go do anything, I want to see if there's any other footprints that I can go look in. So I'm going to relook in every single room, and I will be right back. All right, we're back here. In we go. There was nothing in any of the other rooms, so we're good. All right, I want to look at these other doors before I go in anywhere. They all open. Looks like this is the stables. Hey, Harsey, how you doing? Please don't kick me. I'm just looking around. How you doing? Good boy. Good boy. Nothing. Oh, I didn't know you guys not well, kind of walked around. I didn't know you guys were able to walk around. How you doing, buddy? I honestly didn't think anything like that could be done in the Doom 3 engine. Anything up above? I don't see anything down there. Oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 no! Damn it! Try this again. Quiet down! I can barely hear as it is. Man, it's so bright up here. Kind of a dark spot! <sighs> On you? No. Okay. Get in there. There we go. Hopefully that's good enough. Uh, 
I don't know if I can steal anything from here because if this is a memory, then it doesn't exist. Or it did exist, it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, that dust mode <laughs> really distracted me. Uncle, can I come in? Please let me in, Uncle. I need to talk to you. Well, then. Come in. Find this inheritance. Okay. Uh, hello. Damn it, I'm stuck. Get out of my way. Yeah. And these people don't like each other. And I'm stuck. There we go. Maybe the inheritance is in this trunk. It's not. It, it, it's not in the trunk. Can I jump over to that? Oh, if I didn't mean to climb up here. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Alright, now that he's gone, maybe I can get into Uncle's room. And make a whole bunch of racket at the same time. I mean, that's a possibility. I could do that. Was looking this way. What's that over there? Nothing. What's wrong, Uncle? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Why would it be anything? Something moved. Oh, nothing moved. Nothing moved at all. Where's she going? There you are. Go ahead, close the door. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. You have a very big dress. What was that? Just shit. He's giving me too much trouble. It must be deleted. Oh wow. Well. Really? It doesn't go out. That? Screw you! I'll teach you Dick. to mess with me. Oh, ha! Is that all you? Unfortunately, I can't kill him. 
Alright, coming from the other end seems like it's gonna be the best bet. So I'm assuming this is the brothel. Yes, this is the brothel. It has themed rooms. What does this say? I'm sure this is official hammer top text. The Master Builder's Book for the Verded Tenants. Tenant 32. If thou hast been naughty, then thou shalt be spanked by the mistress of the builder. She will punish thee with the tools of the builder, and thou shalt not enjoy his day. Kinky. Painful. <laughs> Very painful. Ugh. 